When I was young, I didn't particularly know what I wanted to do. I spent a little bit of time in schools because my sisters, three of them, worked in the school. I realised when I went into schools that, you know, the relationships that you build with the children and working with them and teaching them something new, that sparked something in me. It was the moment where I decided this is what I want to do. I think my views on my future were kind of strengthened after being at the university. It made me certainly know that I wanted to be a teacher but not only a teacher at some point a head teacher. I remember an interview on my final year where um, I was asked where do I want to go with my career and I knew at that point that I'd, I'd want to be a head teacher one day. I started as an NQT in 2012. By the end of 2015 I was asked to step up as an assistant head. By the end of 2016 I was asked to become the head of school. That was at sort of Christmas time and when the Christmas holidays came that's when I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was who I was, that was what defined me, having been ill and now I'm back. And even now when I bump into people, it's like, how are you? I know they're asking because they want to see, you know, that they're interested and they're, they're wishing the best, but I've moved on from that stage now. It's, in a way, what have I learned from it? How can I prepare others and children to, to be resilient and strong in case something like this happens in their lives? I think the personal impact the university's had in my life is that I, I met my wife there. I've met some great people, great friends, great tutors who I keep in touch with. Um, and there's this draw that I have back to the university where I feel as if I'm still part of it.